What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a bit of a shorter video today, but specifically about three CRPGs that I think are great for beginners. I narrowed this down to three primarily because I was very picky with how I approached this list, because there are tons of CRPGs out there that I definitely think everyone should play and are great representations of the genre, but the problem is a lot of those games aren't easy to get into. So you take a game like Baldur's Gate, that's an amazing game. It is not newcomer friendly in the slightest, so stuff like that I had to axe. So the three titles on this list I felt were simultaneously representative of the genre, or at least had key aspects of the genre that they were very good at portraying while simultaneously not being overly complicated, and thus requiring you to play on like easy mode or something, which kind of negates the purpose of getting you into CRPGs in a competent fashion. Basically my goal here was to show CRPGs that had simple enough systems to be easily understood and learned that I felt would give someone a good idea of what the genre is and whether or not they would actually like it. So with no further ado, let's jump into these titles. Now first on our list we have Shadowrun Returns. Returns is actually the first installment of a trilogy, or a series of three games. They're not really in sequential order or anything. They're fairly unrelated, but collectively they're known as the Shadowrun Trilogy. But Shadowrun Returns in particular is very newcomer friendly. It's a kind of a proof of concept, almost long demo more than anything else. You can beat Shadowrun Returns in 7 to 10 hours. The combat is very simple. You can run through it with basically any build and be okay. The character building, that is to say how you actually make your character in Shadowrun Returns, is relatively simple especially in comparison to a lot of other CRPGs. And while there aren't a ton of choices and things to be had, I think what Shadowrun Returns does an amazing job of is showcasing what the genre could be if you wanted it to be. It's just a great little jumping off point and is probably the game I would recommend most to just kind of give people a taste of the genre without being overly demanding of someone's time. Now second on the, now second on the list we have Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Now this is on here for a couple of reasons. You could argue this is more of a TRPG than a CRPG as Celasta is very focused on 5e tactical combat. However, right now, it is one of the only renditions of 5 edition combat available in a video game. That is to say, 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. 5th edition is primarily popular because it is a relatively simple version of a tabletop system. Oftentimes, these systems, even when adapted to video games, are incredibly complicated, and 5e takes a lot of that stuff, makes it much more approachable, and thus is why it's so popular with such a broad audience. And Celasta is that, but in video game form. Playing Celasta plays very much so, or at least the main story anyway, plays very much so like running through a D&D module, which I personally thought was very well done. Combine that with the fact that it has stories and things that will play out, etc., and I think you have a great jumping off point for a beginner especially because Celasta has a very elastic difficulty, if you will. So there are presets, however, there's a ton of difficulty options you can adjust and change within Celasta that will really allow you to cater the experience to kind of how you want to play it, thus making it not difficult, but at the same time not so easy that you're not learning anything. And last but not least, we have the recently released Expeditions Rome. I think this is a fantastic CRPG to get people started. Now, technically, this is a TRPG, but you'll find that with these games that often goes hand in hand. Now, Expeditions Rome is, of course, based on a bit of Roman history, as the title would probably tell you. But there's a lot of great story and gameplay to be had. However, the main reason I recommend this to beginners is because the systems at play are relatively simple, but they offer enough depth to, again, be challenging. Combine that with the tactical turn-based combat that you see that, frankly, a lot of CRPGs use, and is a fantastic and fun way to simultaneously explore some history, as well as learn a bit more about how to play these games in a relatively short and simple manner. So beyond these three titles, there are a ton of CRPGs out there that are worth checking out. Now, if you want a bit more of a challenge in terms of the system being a bit more complicated, then some other titles I would recommend people look at are Tyranny and Divinity Original Sin 2. 
Tyranny especially because it is a title that actually uses real time with pause, which is a system of combat that I didn't mention in the games here, which is another common staple of CRPG. That said, most games that have real time with pause that actually get released these days typically also have turn based, which is just easier for people and turn-based is more tailored for beginners in my opinion, as real-time with pause can just frankly be very difficult to manage, and I find is an overwhelming thing for new players, though you should definitely be aware of it. Especially if you go to try to play older CRPGs, which use real-time with pause almost exclusively. But there you go guys, a few CRPGs to get the beginners started out there. Hope you enjoyed the list, if you found it helpful by all means let me know about it down in the comment section below. But regardless of any of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find a CRPG out there for you that helps you fall in love with the genre the way I love it. But in the meantime, may you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.